Ay, ¿qué onda, mis amigos? Allá en el tierra de YouTube. What's up, everybody? This is Kuwil here. Saying hello to everybody out there in YouTube land. Now, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I uh, know that you guys are still... Uh, you guys are still rolling over my BF3 video that I put out. I don't know, what was it? four or five days ago or whatever and uh, I know you're still rolling over laughing at that complete lack of skill and basic ineptitude that is yours truly so I wanted to bring you this really really sweet game that I had um, because you know everybody has his day and I just want to show you guys something that I knew was going to make this a really sweet video, and here it comes, right here. Oh, you just got to love that. You just got to love that. I mean, there's just, no, there's just no getting past that. You see, I heard that when I had my headphones on. I heard the tank rolling over there. And so, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Ah, yours truly got a little bit lucky right there, but that's okay. So, um, I'm just going to kick it over here because, you know, I'm a complete old gamer and I don't have the, uh, <sighs> let's just face it, I don't have the skills of you young ones, so I have to come in the backside. <laughs> I get to come in the backside, yeah. Yeah, I said that on YouTube, come in the backside. So I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to do what I do. And uh, this this match is gonna be a little bit of it's gonna be a little bit of your time. It's clocking in at roughly 22 minutes, give or tell, uh, give excuse me, give or take. And I want to give a shout out to my boy Z Man two three four five. And I'm not gonna say two 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 three 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 four 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 five 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 five. I'm just gonna call him Z Man. Uh, but this gentleman Z-Man, he pops up quite a bit <clears throat> in my feed, excuse me. Uh, but I got to give him credit. He keeps coming back for more. He doesn't give up. He doesn't rage quit. He doesn't send me any mail. In my book, that's a really good player. So uh, <clears throat> this first part of the video here, I'm just, you know, Watching my ass, checking out the flags, and I noticed that this guy is gonna be capped, so I head on back. And well, you know. My little, my little, my little friend, my little friend took out this guy for me. And this, this is a recurring theme. I don't know if you guys, have, yeah, excuse me, I don't know if you guys have noticed in my videos, but I tend to make use of various kits. Especially when there's a tank involved. It is my job to repair the tank and to kill the tank. And therefore I need a, you know, infantry kit. So you'll see me do that quite a bit during this match. But basically I just want to talk about, because this first part of the match is going to go right, it's going to go by pretty slow. Because there's not that many players in this match. Uh, it's not a full 12 on 12. So Wake Island is a huge map. And, uh, you know, the players are few and far between. So you're going to see me rolling around the tank, capping some flags, you know, and then the kills are going to start to rack up. I think my final was 35 kills, 37 kills, just over a thousand points, uh, which is pretty close to my best that I've ever made. I think I made one time I made 40 kills. Um, about a thousand points, give or take, you know. But needless to say, that those kind of numbers made by me are few and far between. I just want to tell you that normally I'm good for around 10 to 20 kills a match. So by no means am I a professional. Um, and I, I usually don't go out that quickly, stick my nose out there. I usually like to look around there. So I could take those guys by surprise, but he saw me, so it's time to go a little hunting. It's time to go hunting. 
And this boy right here. D Z A P D Zap. Uh, I got a little lucky with a with a no scope right there. <laughs> yeah, does does that does that Uh He actually was the highest scorer on the uh, on the enemy team, so he put up some pretty big numbers at the end of this round. He was, it was a Scotty girl again, and this guy rolled up on me. I Z man, he just he just rolled up. I didn't even see him. I mean, not get a little lucky there, and then. So, like I said, it's kind of slow. I mean, it's kind of slow when you start out. It's just kind of kind of working my way over there. If you notice, the, they have three flags and we got two. You're going to see that fluctuate back and forth. There's a couple of times in the match when they have four and we have one. And it's just going to be me and a tank. And I'm going to be, holy shit, there's a bunch of people around me. But um, <clears throat> I'm just basically trying to ease my team up there you know we're trying to we're trying to get up there so i'm trying to clear out these guys and they're, they're just like bees everywhere just swarming around but uh you know you know how you just you just you know it, it's this this happens i've noticed a lot in bf3 where especially in rush matches where you know the rush team the the, the attackers they'll get down to the mcoms and uh you know, instead of taking the MCOM right away, they just start clearing out everything. They just they just clear it all out, and then they, you know, blow up the MCOM. That's kind of what I'm trying to do here. Um, but these pesky, these pesky tanks keep getting in. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Say hello to Jimmy. Uh, so you gotta know when to, you gotta know when to fold them. Yeah, you gotta know when to hold them. Yeah, you gotta know when to walk away, and you gotta know when to run. To quote a little Kenny Rogers there. So I'm gonna play a little hide and seek here, cause uh, you know I'm old. And uh, little Pablito, Pablito. Oh, I got a little bit lucky there. So yeah, as you notice, the kills are kind of they're kind of stacking up a little bit here, you know. And I'm just trying to basically stay alive. You know, we've taken over this this flag, but now they've capped the bottom flag, and there's my trusty tank. It's just my trusty tank. I'm biking it, and I just want to let you know that in this in this match, you're gonna be treated to a couple of really sweet plane or tank on plane kills. If that sounds a little pornographic. It, it, it's meant to be a little pornographic, cause there are a couple, of, there are a couple of kills here, and I'm gonna no scope these guys right. Uh, you know, the, I just want to talk about my aiming right here. I have no idea what happened there. Uh, any other normal kind of physics in the modern world? Um, I would have taken that guy out, but apparently I just not able to. So here comes a no scope. Here it comes. Boot or a quick scope, should I say it? As the MW, the MW3 people say, the quick scope. Here's another couple of quick scopes for you. Uh, because I am the lead sniper in the tank. Um, yeah. I can't sniper shit, so I use a tank to do it, and how much sense does that make? Uh,. But I must say that I am pretty decent at it. I don't know. And um, I want you to direct your attention around to that little that little circle down on the bottom left-hand screen. You see, we only got one blue and they got four red. Well, that's providing a problem for me because now I'm surrounded. So uh, here we go again. We're going to try the push. We we're going to try the push, and yes, I did see that guy coming up on my left there. I did see him. I did see him. Don't worry. Silent Scope was not going to get close to me. Don't worry. Ain't, no go ain't nobody going to be planting on me today. I tell you what. So, um, have you ever noticed as I say so a lot? I say so, um, or I say yeah and um, or, you know, just deal with it, okay? You just put your big girl panties on and deal with it. You want to look at this? This video and comment about stuff like that, go right ahead. But just put your big girl panties on, all right? 
Ah, uh, I didn't say it. I was going to say so, but I didn't say it. <laughs> I so much want to say it right now. I so much want to say so. Here's a recurring theme. Me jumping out of a tank to let that guy have it so I can have this one. I guess that guy got killed. I don't know. And, you know, one thing I want to let you guys know is the corrugated tin is not going to save you. Uh, it's just not. And, and, you know, there should be like little bullet holes and stuff in there. And now I've, they've noticed that I'm the tank guy and I should have, I should have nailed that guy. I mean, come on. How can you not nail that guy? So I got a little lucky there and take care of this guy trying to take me from behind. And I want you to notice that there's two tanks there. So I'm going to prepare this one, right? I'm repairing this one. And I heard a plane, that's why, I, you know. So I get in the wrong tank. I get, I get in the wrong tank, and I'm like, wait a second. So I hop out, and w wait a second, it's not. So I hop back in this tank, all the while without realizing that the tank in front of me, or behind me, was the one that I had just fixed. So now we got two freaking tanks that are fixed. And again, I should have taken that guy out right there too. The corrugated tin is not going to save you. Diego right there, he actually takes me out a couple times in the plane later on in the match. He definitely gets his revenge on me. But here you go, here comes one. Oh, it's just, that's just gorgeous. That's just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so as you can see, we've taken over these last two flags but now we've lost the other three and I'd uh, such is the dynamics of Battlefield 1943 Conquest such is the dynamics and now we're starting to take them and here it comes Sniper Elite do, 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 Sniper that's right baby Silent Scope good guy Good player. And let me just get you right into behind. Try to try to roll up on my boy like that. Plant on him. What's up with that? And so, again, the cor the corrugated steel tin is not gonna save you. The third time, it's not. Um. And I'm gonna say so again because that's my crutch, is saying so. Uh. These guys now know that, oh, beautiful. It's just freaking beautiful. I told you you were going to see two of them. I told you you were going to see two of them. That was Diego. Like I said, he gets his revenge later on in the match. He, he, gets, a couple of, he gets a couple of plane kills on me. But uh, the pornographic side of just me taking out a plane with my big boy is just absolutely gratifying. I tell you what. But right here, um... I just want to say that it's me against the world right here because I know they're in the plane there's two or three of them in a the plane and I know they're gunning for me because they're all over the place and there's you can see two of them up there rolling around our what do they call that convoy <laughs> you know I know they're up there and I know they're gonna start coming for me because I'm just a big blues well actually I'm red to them I'm just a big you know I'm Santa Claus Waiting to give them a surprise. Um, and yeah, I'm just... I'm trying to survive here. And they just... They're, uh, they're just all over the place. GT Crazy right here jumps out of the tank because he knows what's coming. He knows I'm going to get blown out of the freaking sky. Well, I'm not going to get blown out of the sky, but I'm going to get blown from the sky. <laughs> I'm going to get blown. I love it. I should have taken that guy right there too. I, I got some coin on him, but ugh, syndicated. He got me back. And right there, you can see it's actually nice little kill streak going on there. Nice little kill streak. It's nice. We're a little under, a uh, little under man, but we're doing good. The team is, the team is doing really good. Um. So, uh, because I got taken out by a plane, I'm gonna go take out the plane and. Yeah, well, I get taken out by the plane again. <laughs> yeah. Syndicated gets me again. Let me jerk off. Nice shot. Um, so that that'll, that'll learn you guys. 
not to get revenge, okay? Uh, I'm going to go back to Old Faithful. Old Faithful, and right here, it's coming up. I know it's coming, I know it's coming. I should have got him, right? Oh, I just turned it a little bit more to the left and fired, and he would have been toast. <sighs> count to ten, count to ten, count to ten. So I don't know if you noticed, but we did have three flags, and now we have one flag, and now we have one flag again, and we're back to the same situation, and I, now I'm going to pan up to the right, and you're going to see all these planes that these boys got for them. Look at that. They got three. They're rolling with three planes. Look at that. They're rolling with three planes. What am I going to do with that? I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm just going to roll on by and hope I don't get killed. Um... And yes, I do see the guy to the right, as you're shortly going to see. Uh, hello! Z-Man! Good guy. And here's the recurring theme. Here we go again. I'm going to hop out, give you a tank. I'm going to give you a tank to play with. Why do they always attack me? I, Scotty, come on. There's two tanks there. Why do you want to attack me? I'm the cool guy. Nobody wants to attack me. <sighs> Scotty. Scotty. And then his friend pops up. His friend pops up. Pablo pops up. You know. And then I get my... Here's Diego. He's getting his revenge here. Eh, you jerk off. <laughs> I'm assuming that 0298 is his birth date. Um, which would make him February of 98. Which would make him, what, 12? No, no, no. Not 12. Uh, 14? February, and he's 14? Yeah, I, what am I going to do with that? 14 years old. Oh, hey, look at that. My team is <laughs> taking back the flags. And here is my moment of fail. Right here. Um, I'm thinking when I get in the plane that I'm going to roll around. Because we got all the flags, right? You know, we got four flags. I'm going to roll around and I'm going to take out some planes that are sitting there on the deck. <sighs> Famous last words. <laughs> Here he comes behind me. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm down to zero. So I look behind me, and he's coming around for the kill. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump out and grab me another plane. You kind of have to land on the deck to be able to get a plane or a boat. So rather than swim, I'm just gonna kill myself because you know. It's just, it's, it's just no falling to the water in 43. I mean, come on. So the game is picking up a bit, you know. And I said so again. Uh, but here's, uh, here's my little boy. I don't, I don't, I don't mean that derogatory. This is my little boy. Here's, here's my boy Z-Man. I don't mean to say that you're my little boy. Um, just strike that from the record, okay? But I don't know if you guys remember Bon Jovi and a little song that I like to call Living on a Prayer. But this is perfect for it. Whoa! Living on a Prayer! Boom! <laughs> Take my hand and we'll make it, I swear. Oh! Living on a Prayer! My wife's looking at me like, what the hell are you doing singing to these people? And I looked at her and I go, that's right, sweetie, I'm swing I'm singing to these people. The fail. Look at the fail right there. I gotta go back and pick it up. She's giving me that look like, what the, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> um Yeah, that was a kid switch. And this Pablo just walked right into that. I mean, you know. Okay, so <clears throat> excuse me. I'm now uh, watching behind me and to the side of me, trying like hell to save myself. And uh, you know, as a tanker, you quickly begin to realize that your ass is very delicate. And you very much want to make sure that your ass 
is covered in the best way that you know how and the best way that is possible to cover your ass from the delicate sensitive uh, slab of skin that it is is to back up and not let them get behind you and uh, I got planes flying around there's and and I do end up taking one for the team here in just a bit there's another one boom here it comes here it comes right there Diego he's just trying like hell and oh living on a prayer yeah that's a prayer right there <sighs> but so anyway I just you know I've just given you this uh, this video to you guys because I happen to think that this was a pretty good video I mean the action was yeah it probably could have been a little bit more action you know it was just me rolling around in the tank but you did get to see I mean look you did get to see two pretty sweet tank on plane kills. I mean, how much better can that be? Well, it could probably be a, a lot better. And Diego, like I said, gets his freaking revenge. Um, yeah. So, so you got two. Uh, you got two. You got two classic, classic plane kills. And the tank. I mean, if I get one a day, that's really good. To get two in a match, that's priceless. I mean, Visa should be calling me up so that I could do some, some, you know, some uh, advertising for him. Because I would say, <laughs> no, one day you get a tank kill. You, know, uh, you get a plane kill while you're in a tank. Two days or two times in a, in a game is priceless. And I just completely screwed that up, but you get the idea. So anyway, guys, we're coming up on the end of the uh, the end of the video here. I don't know if there's any more killing or whatever, but uh, I just want to let you guys know that I really enjoy that you guys watch my videos. I really enjoy that you comment on them on whatever forum or whatever there is. And I just hope that I'm bringing you guys something that you enjoy watching, perhaps maybe even enjoy listening to. And again, feel free to leave me comments, good or bad. I need them. You know I need them. So thank you guys, and have a great day.